Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. I know Monday, right? What am I doing working on Monday, right? This will be part of my Tuesday's video. Uh, it is 535. We've been online for about 10 minutes, but we do have an order here from North Italia. I think it could be a banger actually. Lots of items. A little bit high on the mileage, but the initial pay looks pretty good. Now let's think about Sunday. I did work on Sunday, but I did not record. I think I worked for four hours, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. And we did make $101, if I'm not mistaken. Now, we did have this total wine order that ended up having to refund all the items, all the bottles I wanted were not, I'm not in stock. And then on the initial screen, it said, you're gonna get $7.87. I mean, I didn't care. I was like, this is basically almost $8 for not doing anything. And then at the end of the night, when I went to go check the earnings, it was like twelve eighty seven. So there was a little discrepancy. I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, I thought that was interesting. Uh, but anyways, oh, by the way, we added a new app here to my arsenal of gig apps, which is Roadie. Now I have signed up for, I think it's Curry, but that one is not in my zone yet. But Roadie it is. I don't, I don't know why I haven't been on that before. You know, I think they have like, you're picking up stuff or like furniture. I, I, honestly, I'm not sure. To, I'll, I'll be lying to you if I knew exactly what I was picking up, but I haven't done it yet I did turn it on in the morning just to see what was offered when I was getting out of work to see that there's anything worth it You know or worth doing in the morning and I saw a lot of like Home Depot stuff Walmart Best Buy Some of the items said there was small items some were bigger multiple drop-offs I mean some of the pay looks okay. Some of the pay looks super low unless you're already in that area So now there is like a Walmart and a Home Depot close by my W2 which I was like, okay Maybe we can turn it on one day when we're getting out of work. See what see what's up. Um, but yeah, so right now in my gig arsenal, I have Grubhub. I have of course DoorDash. We got Empower, Rideshare. We got um, and Grody, right? Which is probably a lot less than most people. But and the big the, the big one is especially for the new subs. Say how come you don't do Uber? Well, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know why. But if you haven't, let me give you a quick little. 10 second reason, not 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Okay, so there's some kind of issue with my account, okay, with Uber. So I can have the ability to go online for half a second and then it goes, oh, your account needs help or your contact support. My contact support, they have no idea what's going on. They say everything is fine. They've transferred me to a bunch of different people. Uh, nothing, right? I think short of going to a hub, which is maybe what I have to do to get on there. Maybe, maybe that's what I'll do. I don't know. But that's the reason why we're not in Uber. Grubhub is pretty much dead, really, in my zone. So for the most part, I mean, they might offer you one or two decent orders a day, but that's kind of rare, you know what I mean? Um, it's not terrible, it's not terrible, terrible, but it's also not great. So for the most part, we always got Grubhub running in the background, we got DoorDash, of course, we got Empower, and then we're gonna have Brody. You know, so I'm curious to see what my Brody experience would be like. Let me know down in the comments if you've done it before, or what should I expect, you know what I mean, uh, when it comes to Brody. But yeah, so now we're about five minutes away here from this drop-off, now today's Dash, I'm not really expecting a whole lot. I mean, we're only gonna be online for two hours. We can make 50, 50 bucks. We can make 50 bucks in those two hours. I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? A little extra side cash, um, you know, to add up to the uh, the monthly the monthly numbers and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. Okay guys, so we get Druda dropped off and I have this house on my blacklist. I do, but either the family's huge and they have like three people who live here or the customer keeps changing their name because the name did not ring a bell to that house. But now, believe me that I know where the house is at. So it did pay a little bit more than the 1150 that it was showing. I think it became 14 something, 1450 maybe, something like that. Remember 150 subtotal. So it wasn't like it was absolutely terrible, but it was just too far, you know, miles wise. But that's okay, it happens, it happens. Then when I was driving back, I got this order here from Jersey Mike's. 650 three miles if i'm not mistaken or three and a half miles and then when i was to the jersey mines they stacked it an additional 0.5 miles so it's going to the same building not the same person but same building uh for my home type bistro an extra six dollars so we're making a way there right now but just want to take a second here to give, a, a, give some quick shout outs to some people that i think deserve you know more subscribers because i think they put incredible content starting with uh perry dashing co company oh hold on there's a beer what the heck check her channel out get her to 500 subs she puts great content um and it takes a lot of time and work to edit the videos so you know it's not like you know we just go out there and put it together in 30 seconds no it takes a long time you know same thing with my boy um driving with ty shout out to him um and i know that i'm forgetting some other people that i always talk about 
you know, uh, G G Gigaholics Rex, great content. I mean, Joe Easy. There's so many. There's so many people that are putting out some good content. Um, but you know, it's sometimes it can be kind of hard, especially when you're not really making any money on YouTube. I mean, I think it took me what six months, seven months to get monetized, and then after that, I was like, oh man, nice. Like that, that little bit helps. You know what I mean? But when you're in that initial grind, it can be kind of tough. So you know, check them out. You know, you don't have to subscribe right away. Watch a couple of video, a couple of their videos. If you like it, cool. If you don't like it, you don't have to subscribe. But you know, I think I think if you like my content, you like their content. You know what I mean? So, anyways, the time right now is six fourteen. So we got a little under an hour left. But we're making our way here to my home type bistro now. Yesterday I was there, and they were a mess. But they they, they had a lot of good orders. They were just they were, they were a mess, you know, overall. But I think they were just too busy. Like they had too much business inside, not enough people, and they had all the apps running. So. I think a lot of restaurants sometimes do that because they want to capitalize and make the money, but they ended up hurting themselves a little bit, you know, because then it's like, do dashers really want to go there? Do drivers want to go there? Do the people want to wait when they're, you know, placing orders online and whatnot? So hopefully today it'll be a little bit better. Hopefully. It doesn't look like a big order, so it should be ready. Anyways, that's a long winded way of saying check out these other creators that are putting out some good content. Anyway, so let me get these two orders uh, dropped off, and we shall see you guys. Okay, guys, so, see? Spoke too soon. Spoke it into existence, if you will. Got to my home type bistro. There's a bunch of bags, yet none of the bags are for me. <laughs> so, we ended up waiting, I think, maybe close to 10 minutes, uh, which kind of sucks for the other customer whose food was ready, but, I mean, they're, they live in the same building, you know, so, I guess it happens. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that was kind of annoying. So anyways, the time right now is 6.30, so by the time we get there, it'll be maybe 6.38, the earliest. So around 6.40, we should be done with both. Gives me enough time to probably do uh, maybe one or two more orders, depending on how fast I get them, you know what I mean? So it's not impossible to do $50, I don't think, but you know, the stars got out of line for this, you know what I mean? So. Anyways, but I've been looking at the Roadie app, and there's some low-paying gigs on there. For example, check this one out from Ronald Reagan Airport, which, by the way, I was there yesterday. Was that? No, not yesterday. Friday. Friday. Saturday? Friday. I think Yeah, Friday. I was there on Friday, and for only like 12 bucks or whatever is paying, it sounds like a lot of hassle to park, find wherever it is you're going to pick up these luggages, and then you got to drop them off. I don't know, the pay seems kind of low, in my opinion, but I guess if you're already there, maybe, for whatever reason, maybe, but I know, I saw I saw this really good one in the morning that I couldn't take, so I have to go home, but it was paying like $55 from Home Depot, going like four miles, now, let's say that it was, you know, a heavy load or whatever, but I would have still tried it, you know, if it don't fit, it don't fit, but I can put my seats down, you know, so we can make a lot of things fit in this little dashmobile, you know what I'm saying, so... Anyways, we'll see you guys. Hey guys. So we got both orders dropped off. And you know what? Plot twist. They were both going to the same apartment in the same building. Maybe the roommates. I don't know. Because there was two different names in the orders. It wasn't like the same guy ordered from two different places. It was two different orders from two different people. But going to the same building and the same apartment number. Interesting. After that, it, it just died down. It slowed down. No offers until this one came along. And this will be the last order that we do today here uh, before going to work. It's from Savage Burrito, seven dollars. I'm not expecting it to move. Savage Burrito is Uncle Julio's ghost kitchen, which typically is incredibly slow. Uh, the order, uh, I'm not even sure how big it is, but like I said, most of these orders don't really move. They're pretty small. Um, basically, if you want to get Uncle Julio's food, but you don't want to spend Uncle Julio's money, you uh, <laughs> you get um, a Savage Burrito, you know. But anyways, let me get this dropped off. We'll go over the numbers real quick, and we'll see you guys soon. Okay, guys, quick little update. The shift is over. It stayed at $7. Now, we are currently sitting at, let me see here, $33.75 for the dash. I'm going to go ahead and say that's Monday's total. So, tomorrow when we start again, I'm not going to include this in that tally, if that makes any sense. So, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's go. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. It is Tuesday. Currently 7.15 in the morning. And you know what? It's been a pretty decent morning. Now, we started about... I want to say around 625 630 maybe now of course during breakfast you know i'm a little more flex with my orders so my first order was a 525 from chick-fil-a going down the street two miles uh and i've had this customer in the past and sometimes she tips a little bit more but usually i think she just tips like you know three dollars regardless of whatever she gets and i mean that's fine 
Um, and then after that, we did an order here from Dunkin' Donuts, which, you know, I'm not a fan of. But if you go there early enough, they're not that busy. So that one was 625. I think it stayed at 625. And then that dash ended now on Roadie, right? I've been seeing some super crazy orders. I can't believe someone's taking these orders. Like, there's some that are going like 45 miles, paying 23, $25. And I'm like, I guess it only makes sense if maybe you're stacking it with something else. Maybe you have a spark order or something. I don't know. But I have yet to see one. Actually, you know what? I, I'm lying. I saw one that I wanted to take, but I could not take it because I was doing the uh, Dunkin' Donuts order. I think it was from Home Depot, like six miles, paying $25 just to try it out. You know what I mean? Um, but it is what it is. Right now, we're uh, currently doing an order here from Panera Bread, 825 four miles again during breakfast time we're gonna be more flexible and it's raining first of all i had no idea it was supposed to rain but yo shout out to the panera staff they're like hey you you want a free coffee or something absolutely so we got ourselves a free coffee right here from panera so shout out to them for you know the free coffee uh, but yeah so today is going to be a pretty long day uh, we do have the pot belly kits order around 10 a.m so hey it should be a good day hopefully let's go Okay, guys, quick update. It's 7.35 in the morning. We got the order dropped off. It's still at 8.25. No problem. Then I saw this package delivery. I don't even know what it is. Come up here on Roadie. Um, and then the way it works is you submit your bid. And then they get back to you within 15 minutes. I don't know how. That, I don't really get the logic behind it. But it's, I guess, an office building here in the town center. Just I will be picking up something and then dropping it off. I like the UPS down the street the pay isn't great i mean the miles are low so maybe it is great but i'm just, I'm just i just want to try it out you know what i mean that's kind of why i'm doing it uh but it's only ten dollars now we submitted the bid here and it's just pending so we'll see what happens uh if we get it yes yeah, cool maybe we don't get it i don't know um but i've seen other bids come up or not not bids other other gigs come up on the app so far nothing on grubhub it's been dead there uh, and power is also slow, although there is a surge. That's like the one that they apply, that they recommend. But, you know, whatever. That's just running in the background. Um, but, yeah, so we're just chilling right now, just waiting. So I just wanted to update you guys. I we'll probably won't see you guys until, like, about 10 or so. So the video's not super long. We'll see you guys in a few. Okay, guys, I know I just said I wasn't going to catch up with you until later. But I was waiting and waiting uh, for the Rorty thing to either tell me, yes, you're, you know, you matched or no, you didn't. But then this order came along from Chick-fil-A, 625, I think like three miles. And I'm like, you know what? This is a for sure thing. So I just canceled the bid. I don't know. And then I picked up the order here from Chick-fil-A. When I went to look at the roadie thing again, the offer's gone. So maybe it matched with somebody else. I'm not entirely sure how this whole roadie thing works, but I feel like it's a lot. I feel like they prefer people that already have the experience, if that makes any sense. At least from what I've seen on YouTube. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have done Roadie before. What do you think? Is it worth it? It definitely seems more like a, a, a like a filler app for sure. Um, but yeah, now I just checked it again and there really is again. I mean, the same, the same thing is still there from the morning, which is a terrible, but you know what? It actually went up in pay now because in the, in the morning it was paying $23 or earlier in the morning. We're still in the morning. Now it's paying $33, but still not worth it. First of all, it's going into Maryland. Anything that's going into Maryland, yeah, you got to pay a little bit. You know what I mean? So, anyways, we got the order picked up here from Chick-fil-A. We're five minutes away. Um, but, yeah, we're having a pretty, you know, productive morning. It's relatively busy. I've declined two or three bad orders from DoorDash. But other than that, you know, the offers have been okay. Uh, but now we'll see you guys around 10. Let's go. Hey guys, let's catch you up here. It's 1025 in the morning and today has been a Chick-fil-A kind of day. I think I've been to Chick-fil-A multiple times, at least three or four times if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then we did one shopping order here from Target, which I was kind of skeptical at first because, you know, new offer screen, couldn't see the items, and I was kind of scared there'd be all waters and stuff. And it's going to one of the few high rises here in Reston. But I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and accept it. And if I don't like what I'm seeing, you can always send a sign. Luckily, though, it was a small order, a couple of items. I uh, got that dropped off. And then I forgot that my dash ended at 9.30. And I had a 30-minute gap between 9.30 and 10 o'clock. Now, 10 o'clock is usually the time when I, when I go to pick up the uh, order for Pop Belly. So I'm like, you know what? Let me eat some breakfast real quick. Um, 
you know, nothing too crazy or anything. What is going on over here? Sorry, this uh, this truck is merging really, really slow for whatever reason. But anyways, um, we got the order picked up here from Pop Belly, as you guys can see. Um, and look at this order that I kind of wanted to take, but then I knew that it was unrealistic for me to take because of the time and also because of the weight from Rody. I think it was paying 40 something dollars. Uh, I think it was four items totaling 465 pounds, I think, which sounds really heavy. <laughs> the miles were not, you know, it wasn't like it was going far or anything, but, you know, I, I don't think I would have gotten it even if I would have submitted the, the gig offer or whatever. But anyways, typically we get around $40 here with this order from Pop Belly, and it's definitely not 460 something pounds. So there's that. Anyways. That's basically the update, lots of Chick-fil-A. It's been a pretty decent morning, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, it definitely could have been slower for sure. I did get one ride uh, request on Empower, which I did originally accept, but then the can the rider canceled, so that was kind of dumb. Uh, they would have paid like 25 bucks going seven miles, which I would have taken you know, in a heartbeat, but again, they canceled, so it is what it is. And they canceled fast enough that you didn't get any compensation. But I think if they cancel like five minutes into the order, then you get something or the ride, I mean. So anyways, let me get this dropped off. We'll see you guys on our first lunch order. Let's ride. Okay, guys, we got the order dropped off from the Potbelly Kids. Check it out, guys. $40. I'm telling Damn, you, you can try and build relationships with the merchants. They don't want to pay the fees to the, you know, to the apps and stuff. That's how, I, that's how this came about. You know what I mean? Uh, or, or initially, I was just polite and nice to them. So they were like, hey, you know. Would you be able to do this? We can give you cash. And that's how the whole thing started. And before, yo, probably used to tip $10. Then it went up to 20 Now it's 40 Now, they order the same. Now, I would like to think that it's because I built a relationship with the staff and whatnot. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so I, I don't really expect more than 20 but as of late, 40 has been the magical number for months now. So, you know, now all of a sudden we're what? Like in the 70s, I think, or maybe even higher for the whole day. Uh, now we gotta just go back to Pot Belly, give them the check, because they pay via check, and that's it. Now, let me talk about something juicy here real quick that was, you know, that came to my attention this morning here via the Discord. So, you know, join the Discord, it's absolutely free, no charge. Uh, lots of other drivers from all over the US, Canada, just kind of sharing their day, you know, their trash orders, their bangers, normal conversation. Um, and then they were talking about this new beef, new gig tuber beef uh, between Bentley Coop and Dash and Trader. Now, Dash and Trader, uh, I think he was recently deactivated because he went basically super viral on TikTok and stuff, which kind of sucks that he got deactivated. But I think he knew that at some point that was going to happen. And I think he's probably okay with the way that it did happen because he is basically going viral, getting all these views, notoriety and whatnot. But then Bentley Coop does this video, right? About talking about no tip, no trip is dead or something like that, okay? First of all, let me go ahead and say that no tip, no trip is very much alive, but I think it just depends on how you do it, okay? For me, I just decline. I got no problem declining. Yo, I'm a top decliner. You guys have seen the merch, top decliner, no problem. You know what I mean? Uh, there is there is a, a, a dasher out there for those orders. It's just not gonna be me. It's just not gonna be me, I just can't. I can't do it. I can't take a no tip order willingly. Does DoorDash get me from time to time? Absolutely. When I get tricked and it's like a $7 base pay, $7 payout, and you're like, wow, no tip. You know, it's gonna happen, right? But I don't I don't get his point when he's trying to say that dashers are greedy by doing this whole no tip, no trip, that we're wasting time. I think I like I think I use my time wisely. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna knowingly take a $2 order, 225 order, 250, whatever, you know? And it's interesting because he also does have minimums. So it's almost like he's trying to play both sides. I don't know. I haven't really watched his content in a long time, to be honest. I'd be lying if I told you that I did. I haven't watched in a while. Uh, I don't even know if he dashes anymore. I think he just makes DoorDash videos per se, but I don't know. They have some kind of beef going on saying like, you know, Dash and Trader's approach is wrong. Now, I will say though that Dash and Trader's approach is a, it's a little strong for me. I don't think I would do that, you know. But I think he was also doing it, you know, for entertainment purposes. It wasn't just because he wanted to confront them. You know what I mean? Like, because there's so many different ways you could do it, right? Um, but the easiest thing would be just to decline, you know. For me, 
625, three miles. That's my, that's my minimum, like bare minimum. You know what I mean? I, I'm not, that's not asking for that, that much. You know what I'm saying? Now, do I get my fair shares of no tip orders, like uh, offers? Absolutely. I just decline. Just decline. There's no reason to get mad or upset, you know, um, because we really can't do much. The, the biggest thing that we could do is decline and show DoorDash and nobody's going to take it. But we all know someone is going to take these orders, you know. So I thought it was interesting that the approach that Bentley took and whatnot. So definitely interesting. Um, I'm, you know, I'm going to be no tip, no trip. You guys see it in the intro every single time. It's like, I, I believe it. I believe it. I think it works. You know, I'm not over here waiting for like, oh, let me get a $25 order, a $10 order. No, absolutely not. Just something that makes sense. You know what I mean? And I've always said it. Be nice. Be nice to the people that work in the restaurants. They do all the hard stuff. We don't have to. We don't have to cook. We don't have to deal with, you know, bad customers for the most part. You know, be, be a decent human being, I guess, when you're dashing. It's not that hard. It's really not that hard. You know, I've met wonderful dashers that I've also met complete a-holes you know what i mean um that's a long-winded way of saying like do what works for you if you want to take a no tip order and you can justify it and it works for you no problem to me i don't even think i look at it hourly as much anymore to me it's like okay this is my monthly goal i'm gonna be out here regardless how can i get to it that fastest way you know what i mean so anyways this entire time that i've been talking not a single offer has come through on none of the apps um but yeah let me get this check dropped off uh, let me know your thoughts about this whole no trip, no tip, or no tip, no trip. Is it dead, do you think? Do you practice it? What do you do? Let me know. You guys know what I do. You know what I mean? I'm just here for the decent offers, you know, that I can do quickly. If I can do a 625, two or three mile order in 12 minutes, hey, I'll take that all day long. You know what I mean? Because not all orders are created equal. Not all miles are the same. You know what I mean? There's so many different variables. Uh, Within, within your market. Everyone's market's different. We all know that. So, you know, with, with all that being said, you know, let me know what you guys do in the comments. Let me know what works for you. You know, leave a like. Leave a like on the video or you're going to get a no tip offer. No, I'm just kidding. Um, anyways, let me get this dropped off. It's starting to rain a little, a little more heavily now, but it's okay. Perhaps it'll help out. That's okay, go. guys. So we got the check dropped off here at the pot belly. They gave me some free chicken pot pie. So it was you know, eating the soup or drinking the soup, eating the soup, whatever. And then I get this off right here from Hot Belly, 625. I think it's like 2.5 miles. I've been to this building many times. Usually, I think I think it could be like a $10 tip and $2 base pay or $2.25. So I'm thinking this will become a $12.25. Now, I could be wrong, but it did, it did take a while though. Like I was chilling there declining some low pay uh, orders. I'm like, man, it's going to be one of those days. One of those lunch shifts when you know it doesn't feel too busy. So, jumped on it for sure. The time right now is 11.19. We're almost there. But like I just said, I feel like it's going to be kind of slow today. At least for lunch. So, we're going to have to grind. That's okay. Let's go. Okay, guys. We got the order dropped off. And what I tell you? what I tell you? I, I knew it. The, the building is familiar. The customer's name was familiar. It was 12.25 as expected. Or as suspected. <laughs> Not expected. Then we got this one right here from the Taste of Istanbul, 625, less than a mile. Now, when I'm getting back in the car, I get this stacked offer right here from Pokey Hub, $8, 3.6 miles. I took it simply because, again, I just feel like it's going to be a slow lunch. So I feel like I don't have the luxury to decline this order. You know what I mean? So we jumped on it. We're about to drop off the first one. And the next one will be like a 10 minute drive. So we're doing pretty good. I think after these two drop offs, we should be over 100. I think for the whole day. I don't know what's up in the screen. That time right now is 11:45. Hopefully we can keep it going. Let's okay, guys. So we got the order from the Taste of Istanbul dropped off and the Pokey Hub, and they both stayed at whatever they said. Thing one was 6:25. The other one was eight dollars. Drove back, found a place to park, and I'm really regretting accepting the free chicken pot uh, pie like the soup because right now I feel so tired and so sleepy. Really, I can't even talk so sleepy when I shouldn't be. You know what I mean? But we do have our next order here from Pop Belly. Another 625, very, very low mileage. I think it's a mile, if that. And the food was ready here. The time right now is 12, 12 in the afternoon. And again, I think we're having a pretty slow lunch, but we're making the best of it. Taking good, decent offers, declining all the garbage. You know what I mean? So 
Anyways, we'll see you guys. Hey guys, I'm not sure what's going on here with Potbelly, but Potbelly's giving us some mini bangers. This other 625 order also became like 1225, if I'm not mistaken. Then uh, we still have to get some gas real quick, which I hate getting gas here in Reston. It's a tad bit more expensive than if I, if I would've just done it in the morning, uh, which is on me. But it's all good though. Anyways, uh, then we got an order there. We're, we're now at the Exxon. We got this order here from uh, Santini 625, I think like 2.5 miles maybe. Now, what I've noticed with Rody is they do a lot of Home Depots, I've seen some Walmart, Best Buy, and then a lot of airport stuff, like luggages and things. There's a Home Depot here in Reston, I'm passing by it. I have yet to see a single offer from this Home Depot on Rody. Yet I've seen other Home Depots, the ones that are really far away. I was like, what's going on? What's up with this Home Depot? You know? Um, but yeah, anyways, the time right now is 1237. We're five minutes away. Uh, I'm pretty confident we're definitely over 100 bucks. So right now we're, you know, maybe stepping into 150, 200, perhaps 250. I'm not sure. Um, but I do know that at one point it is going to become really, really slow. So I'm hoping that, you know, at some point maybe Grubhub gives me something or um, uh, Empower, if it makes sense. You know, it has to make sense. That's the key. It has to make sense. Because, you know, Grubhub does give you some orders, but they're just low pain or like very, very long mileage. Which again, I'm not sure who's doing these orders, but somebody is. We'll see you guys soon. Okay guys, so we got the order dropped off from Santini's. It was going to a, a senior home. Luckily it was for one of the nurses. She came on site and she met me. And now here we are at BGR 675, 2.8 miles. Decent offer. The time right now is 12.58, so almost one o'clock. Let's go. Hey, how's it going? I'm just picking up for Joanna. Joanna? Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? How's the baby? Uh, big and annoying. Annoying? Yeah. All she does is cry. Hey, man, before you know it, before you know it, see, now she's crying, but you don't understand her. Now you'll be able to actually understand her, and then she'll be more annoying. <laughs> yeah. My girlfriend, she's mm. like, she just wants me, bro. That's all I can say. She just wants me. You should give her a little sister, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah? Hey, congrats, man. Oh really? Yeah. Damn. So then I got three girls? No, two girls and one boy. Two and one boy. Nice. Well, I don't mind this boy Guys, so as you saw the food wasn't ready, but I was chatting it up with the guy here from BGR. I, I don't know, it's, it's a little weird when you know someone but you don't know them, like I don't even know his name, I don't think he knows my name, but I always see him, cool guy, we always just talk about random stuff, you know, when I first, when I remember when I first started talking to him, I remember my daughter was like, I think two, and then he was about to have a kid, and now he's about to have another kid, you know, which so we were talking about kids and things like that, and it was funny because he was like, oh, yeah, she's so annoying. But then she goes, oh, but she loves me. I love it. You know, <laughs> and that's kids, you know, because I feel like kids, you know, they get to a point where they kind of just bug you and annoy you. But at the same time, you love it. You know what I mean? So anyways, the food uh, it's a small burger. So I don't think this will, this will move. Now, we're only five minutes away or 1.7 miles. The time right now is 102. No, 103, 103. So we're basically about to go into the slow times. Hopefully we can, you know, stay afloat because man i have a feeling dinner is going to be slow i don't know why i just i just think it's going to be slow i don't know but no complaints so far we're having a pretty good tuesday because you know some tuesdays can be super dead anyways we'll see you guys in a few okay guys quick update it's 140 and it's been so dead since doing the last drop off right i'm just refreshing the roadie app it'd be perfect time right now to do some roadie but there's nothing going on in the app nothing close to me actually there's a couple things but like in maryland Right now, Power is dead, DoorDash is dead, Garoppa is definitely dead. So right now, we're going into the slow times. It is what it is. We'll see you guys soon. Okay, guys, it's pretty slow, but DoorDash threw us a bone here. First of all, the time is 2.35. And look at this order we just got here from Total Wine. Not my Total Wine that's down the road. The Total Wine all the way up by Dallas Town Center, the one with the massage chairs. But that's relevant. I think it's paying 28.50. Yeah, I forget the miles. I just looked at it as cash flow. 2850. Uh, although this total wine, I'm not a fan. It's like the one in Vienna, which is a lot longer. Not like the one here in Reston, that's a lot smaller. So, and the last time that I went to Total Wine, 
it didn't have the aisles. I think it was on Sunday when I didn't record. I ended up refunding it because I didn't have any more of the wine. But I realized I didn't have the aisles. It, it, was, it had the aisle, but it didn't have the actual like row number or whatever. It just said like aisle five, which is huge. You know what I mean? So hopefully that's fixed. If not, that's going to suck. Anyways, we'll see you guys. In a few okay, guys, we are here at this Total Wine. And check this out. Mr. Todd here got 12 bottles of the same bottle which is awesome, which means I just gotta find it. And it is telling me the aisle, aisle five, bay two, row one on the left side. So that's awesome. Hopefully, there's 12 bottles. Do I have my wallet? Ooh, hold on, we gotta go back to the car. I forgot my wallet. Yikes. Alrighty guys, so we are here. Let's see, number four, where is number five at? Okay, number five, bay two, one, two, L1, it should be all the way up top. Sonoma, oh, I think it's this one. Is it this one? Yeah, but I don't know if they have, so it is this one, but I don't know if they have 12 of these. One. Hey guys, so we got a small issue when we were checking out, I had no signal at this store. Um, so whenever I was try, I would try to pay for the red card, it would get declined, and I got a text saying like need to load up the funds or whatever, but I couldn't go to the next step because I had no signal, and I was like, yes, I have Wi-Fi, and they were like, oh yeah, but we didn't share it. I'm like, what do you mean you don't share it? Like, anyways, the manager ended up sharing the Wi-Fi with me because I had no signal there. <laughs> um, but hey, we got everything paid for with the DoorDash card, of course, because I was not about to pay two hundred and fifteen dollars of my own money. You know what I mean? So. Now we're 11 minutes away, 4.9 miles. Perfect order during the slow times. It's 3 p.m. right now, 3.05. So hopefully after this, you just, you know, keeps on going. And I'm gonna check Roadie after we drop this off, because there's a lot of places that do Roadie up here, as opposed to like in rest and town center. So we'll see what happens. But I'm pretty happy with the way everything is going. I'm glad that we found all the bottles, because I initially only saw like nine, and the girl was like, oh, can you just give you a whole case? It's a lot easier that way. So I was like, okay, cool, even better, so. Yeah, anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. Okay, guys, so we got the uh, total wine dropped off. 28.50, I think that's what it was. And now here we are at Chick-fil-A, although it's been about 25 minutes, you know, slowness and whatnot. But this one's paying 9.75. Kind of high for the time of day. 9.75, like three miles. So we'll see what happens. Maybe it's ready, maybe it's not. It's seven items. Got a milkshake. Hey, it's no fun. Not a fan of milkshakes. Hello. I'm just picking up for Aaron. Okay. On the. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Gracias. All right, guys. The order was ready, which is awesome. I'm kind of surprised because this is one of my least favorite Chick Fil A's, although. I guess it's the only other Chick-fil-A in my zone, but they're kind of slow compared to the other one that I was at for breakfast. Anyways, we'll see you guys soon. Okay, guys, so we got the order from Chick-fil-A dropped off. It actually became, I think, 1025, 10 something. Yeah. And then we got this order right here from Le Madeleine, 625, 2.5 miles, I think, something like that. Uh, so we jumped on it. We've been fairly busy here during the slow times between two and five. We'll take it, we'll take it. Um, I'm not even sure where we're at, but I think we're, Getting real close to 200, I hope. I don't know, it's on the screen. But you know what, I can't complain, especially because some Tuesdays tend to be so slow. And I thought today was gonna be a lot worse. I mean, we didn't really get any bangers for lunch per se, but it was consistent. What more can we ask for, right? Good, consistent orders, you know? And then shout out to Pop Belly, of course. Um, but yeah, anyways, we'll see you guys. Hey guys, it's dark now, it's been a while. It got so slow, I mean, nothing was pinging. For a second, I was thinking like, man, maybe are the apps not working? What's going on? But it was just dead. It was literally dead. Like I watched a whole entire episode of NCIS without any any interruptions at all. In the entire time I was refreshing like the apps and stuff, but hey, you know, it happens. And then this order came along. I think it was paying 20 something dollars from Safeway. Super simple actually. I got everything shot for fairly quickly, except for one thing. Is this like little kids like nasal like air spray or something? 
I could not find it, and it was because it was out of stock. I, I wasted way too much time on it. Um, but yeah, anyways, it is what it is, and we're back on the road. Uh, the time right now is 5.55. 5.55, yes, definitely been a slower afternoon-ish, you know? But anyways, you know, it happens, it is what it is. Uh, oops, something just fell in the back, but luckily they don't have anything that could break or anything, so I'm cool with that for now. But um, yeah, just that last maybe hour and some change just kind of sucked, you know, but it happens, it just got slow, you know, so. Anyways, let me get this dropped off. Hopefully, we can get to 250. I'm still hopeful. Okay, guys, so we got the groceries dropped off and then we drove back and it's been super super slow um but then this sort of came along again 925 i think that's in three miles i don't know why it's showing 925 sounds like the whole pay you know or like they're showing a lot of the pay which is kind of strange uh because the order was not ready because i was already there <laughs> basically at pot belly but yeah, it's been a weird um like bottom half of the shift really really slow maybe they're just not orders i don't know it is like super foggy outside also so now, I am confident, though, that we at least broke 200, um, but, but the time is 6.35. We basically have less than an hour to get to 2.50. Uh, I don't see us doing that, but we will try. We will try. We're having a great start to the week, so no complaints. Anyways, let me get this dropped off. Hopefully, we can do one or two more orders. If not, we'll just go over the numbers. We'll see you guys soon. Okay, guys, we got the order from Pot Belly dropped off. I think it went up a little bit to like 9.75, maybe. Drove back, again, nothing, super, super dead. I'm not even getting trash offers. It's 7, 7.13 right now, about five minutes ago, this order came in. I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and end with the bang. I mean, I don't know why, I don't know, I don't know why the pain is showing so much from the rental house, but we took it, we jumped on it. So we're gonna end with the bang, at least. And the food was ready. It is over $100 worth of food because it made me take a photo of my catering bag. So, you know. Took us basically the entire day, but I think that might be my first, yeah, carrying bag order, I think. Uh, let me look at the subtotal here real quick, if I can. $107.50, so I'm thinking that it's gonna stay at the 22 with some change that was that was shown, I think. Now, it is kind of going out of the way, but not really. It's not too far from my W2, so it'll be okay. Um, so we can end this Tuesday with the bang. Again, the bottom half of my shift after like, I want to say 4 p.m. It just got incredibly slow. So the morning was definitely crucial. Adapting, taking those, you know, lower paying offers that can at least keep the cash flow going. Um, but yeah, you know, just taking the decent offers. You know, no tip, no trip is very much alive, at least my version of it. You know what I mean? Just, you see a bad order, just decline it. Sometimes you can laugh, you can get angry, whatever, but it only lasts half a second, right? It's not that serious. Then you move on, then you move on. Um, and that's what I do, you know, so. Anyways, guys, let me get this order dropped off and then we'll go over the numbers at the end, at the wall, wall like I usually do. Well, the wall parking lot. Anyways, let's go. Alrighty, guys, so we got the order dropped off and to my surprise, it went up. It went out from 22, 25, whatever it said, to 23 and some change. So we're gonna end the dash here on a high note at $245 with 18 cents. Hey, not too bad, it was a long day almost 12 hours but hey, no complaints no complaints although lots of downtime though maybe tomorrow we'll get lucky do a roadie or maybe something in power today was all doordash and then of course the pot belly order that always helps on tuesdays so again not a bad not a bad way to start the week here because you know i've had some super dead tuesdays super slow tuesdays you know whatever you want to call it i've had it <laughs> so i'm not going to complain about having a pretty decent start so that's a dash thank you guys for coming along hopefully you guys had a great day also. Remember to like and subscribe so you guys get some bangers. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.